Hi, this is Kate. And this is Dad, and this is another episode of... Coding with Dad. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, today I want to, um, show you something that someone suggested. Le Leslie, um, suggested, like, how do you, switch how do you like, switch different to different backdrops and and this was on your on the video we did um the coding with that video we did uh called blocky and you kind of showed what do you show in blocky like just well, general logic i just showed and, um de general um like blocks and stuff yeah and you had a nice you had kind of an interesting background and i guess leslie wants to know how do you, how switch? Do you switch backgrounds from just um the normal background yeah, and we thought that was a great question right yeah definitely because I like it when people um, give questions. Yeah, because we we would love to know what people are, are if there's questions they have with the videos. Um, it it actually gives us ideas for for new videos. So you, yeah. So Kate, you're gonna show you're gonna show Leslie and everybody else um, some quick tips on like switching backgrounds and maybe and even... also switching characters. Okay. So uh, how do you do this? You create so, a new project. Um, I just created a new project. Well, um, Dad was explaining some things, mm -hmm. and um, so this is how you switch the backdrop. So you have to click on the stage, and it says one backdrop. Well, this backdrop is your one backdrop. It's just the white thing, and it's almost like making characters. If you don't know how to make characters, then um, you, then you um, this is. How you do it? Okay. Basically. Yeah. So um. So this is your first backdrop. So how, what are you gonna put on your backdrop? Your first backdrop. I'm gonna just um. You want to make them a cut create? A, you're gonna create a couple of backdrops and show how to switch between. So them? what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna make a sky. So I'm gonna select this little paint bucket, and I'm gonna make the sky and the ground. Okay. So um. So. Sorry. Um. So. I'm going to select the paint bucket, and then um, I'm going to have the sky be blue. Okay. So I'm going to make it that color. That's pretty and color. And then um, I'm going to draw um, a line at the bottom so I can draw. Oh, wait. Oh, it's <laughs> blue. It Sorry. Color. I want to make this black. And then I can also make this green oh nice so and that's then, so that's, that's one background like, right? uh, background that you can use if you want maybe to make them walk back and forth along the ground but also if you want to make it so you don't want to draw a backdrop you can um, How would you create a second back could choose we... a backdrop oh, okay. from library oh nice and then, a lot of interesting backdrops here, huh? There's a lot of backdrops. Well, which one can we use? So I'm gonna use. Hmm. Oh, this nice, this cool desert one. Yeah. That's so kind of cool. Use the cool desert. So <laughs> um, now Scratch Cat is suddenly in a desert. And and by doing that, you selected up on top. You selected this new backdrop, right? Yeah. And up there, you were once you collected something there, it added a second backdrop. Yeah. Oh, that's and, cool. And um, you're probably wondering what these two things are. What, like, if you see, it says <coughs> upload a backdrop from a file. So if you have, like, a file on your computer and you want to um, upload it, mm -hmm. then you just click this and um, it'll, it'll come up and you just choose the file you want. And then this is also, you could take a picture and then... That'll be that'll be your backdrop. Your right? backdrop. So it's kind of cool here. You show one one back. The simple backdrop you started with is is the one you drew, and then you showed the second backdrop, which is the one you took from the library. So that's yeah. That I suggest cool. I suggest using um the backdrop from library and the paint new backdrop. And if you want to use upload backdrop from file, I would um. I would um, suggest using like drawing a picture mm -hmm. and then like taking a picture of that well, and that's uploading good. it from a file. Mm -hmm. So if you had like a picture that you wanted to have as your backdrop. So now you then, have two backdrops, yeah. Kate. How do you like? Do you, can you programmatically switch between them? Oh yeah, that was also one of the things that I was going to show. So um, if you put down a green flag, when green flag is clicked. Okay. Um, 
there is the switch backdrops in look. So in looks. So if you press switch backdrops, like you can just switch the backdrops and like so but this you... backdrop is called backdrop one. Mm-hmm. And this one is called desert. How about so, we switch between them? Maybe put like, can you put a paw? Like, can you put some yeah, line between that's, them? That's that also might be a what quick I was way. Gonna show. Because then, because then, but you can you can switch. This backdrops. is what would happen. This switch. is what will. Oops, nope, that's not. But you can I switch back. Forever loop. Yeah, forever. you can switch backdrops on anything, right? Like on key presses or on any kind of logic or anything, right? So this is what will happen. Oh, that might switch it too quick. No? Yeah, that's uh. why. <laughs> okay. Second. Oops. Uh, maybe you have to three oh, start Oh, yeah. No, look. I have to press wait one second. Okay, right wonder. Here. Ah. Boom. Because then it's, oh, it's that's starting cool. here. It's yep. waiting one second. And then it's switching backdrop to backdrop one. That's cool. And whatever backdrop it was on before, it, it'll it be a backdrop you one. You know something I didn't then know? Then it's waiting a second. Yep. Then it's going to desert. But then it's restarting. So it would go right back to backdrop one, like right yep. away. One so thing I didn't you realize, Kate, that you that you did is is that as you add things in here, if it's running, you can you you change the code and and you didn't have to restart the program. Nope. Oh, that's cool. So what about can we stop this and what if, and maybe if you show. Um, oh, also, what would happen? Characters. What would happen if you oops, change these to like quicker, like zero point zero. Five, like really quick. It'll it won't switch as quick as bef quick as before. Mm -hmm. But um, it'll move. Like you'll see. Let's see. <laughs> it goes way too fast. All right. Maybe there's some creative so, ways to, to to use stuff like that. Yeah. Slipping between I, backdrops. I, I want someone to. I like when people make projects. So if you on the video or on my scratch account future I could almost see um then you can post um you can post a link yeah. to your video I mean not video um project and you can show me if you what made might, like a backdrop or yeah. what might be cool is you could backdrops. animate the backdrop yeah. Like if you had a whole bunch of backdrops, you could have yeah. things going on in the background. That yeah. would be really cool. Maybe that's, that's what, a project that's that you might want to try. Yeah. It's easy to animate <coughs> when you code it like right. that. Now, Kate, can so, you show us um, how to change? What about changing character? So, um, changing characters. So, um, is it here, sort of like backdrops? Oops, sorry. Just one second. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> one okay. second. I I just messed up. I'm that's, sorry. That's okay. I accidentally clicked a button so there now it'll work okay no. so um now switching characters so if you don't want your scratch cat you um can just right click mm -hmm. or left click right -click. i think it would be a right click right click it. yeah it's right click and then um for, for the windows people yeah yeah and then Oh yeah, sorry. And then you press this thing that says delete, mm -hmm. and then you can just delete it. Oh, Scratch Cat went. So um, went. <laughs> Scratch Cat is gone now. Okay. So you see new sprite over here. So character really is sprite. Like when you see sprite, that's really what a character is, right? Yeah, There's you see the new same sprite thing. over here. Mm -hmm. So um, that you can use to um, that you can use and um. You can create a new sprite, and this is the same thing. You can choose a sprite from the library, okay, and then you can also paint one, upload one, and oh, same paint idea one. as the background. So, um, I'm going to choose one from the library. Okay, wow, there's a lot and of different then ones. There's a lot of different ones, and also one thing that I didn't show you is that there's also like themes and oh. categories. Yeah, so, that's, so it can if I like click that. on people. Then there's a lot of different people that I can use. Right. So who are you gonna use? So I'm gonna use the wizard. Ah, right, sounds good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> dun da da. And then um. And can you do a similar thing where you oh, switch? Oh, also, just so you know, you can um draw on these. So let's say you wanted to make a room for the wizard. Oh. 
you can that and even though witches fly in brooms He's a but, wizard, and he's going to be fine. Okay, let me ask you a question. If, so the, it's, it's sprites, but it's really, is every is every one of these a co considered a costume? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, so it's a little confusing because down down there below, he said create a new sprite, but up on the top tabs, it's it's a costume. So the sprite and the costume are really kind of the same thing, right? Well, basically, these this is a sprite, and then mm -hmm. the costume is kind of like the backdrops. Oh. This is the stage. Okay. So a stage is alike to a sprite, a backdrop is alike to a costume. Okay. So you can switch between costumes too, but you can't you can't change this like well it would it would be harder mm -hmm. to change this to be a whole different sprite. Oh okay. just like So the costumes are really like what you could have multiple costumes, and it's really what and you're drawing on the sprite. on the sprite. Yeah. And if you want, but if you want to have totally different, like a wizard, something else completely different, like the princess or whatever, then that's a, that's a different. That sprite. would be a different sprite, unless oh, okay. you would want the wizard to turn into something. Okay. Then you could have them be another costume. Okay. And then, um, he would, and then you could switch costumes, and he would turn into something. Okay. So, um. Now my wizard's flying on his broom, and um, we can, so also you can draw costumes, just the same with backdrops, okay. so I'm going to scribble. So the new costume is a totally new, totally something different. Yeah, so like that's totally something different. You'd have to put the wizard in that one again here, if you wanted to, okay. Here, you know, right. but I wouldn't have to, but to make it so if I wanted just to wiz the wizard to be in a different position or mm -hmm. something like that then I would have to so really like when you move us the sprite is this the sprite can have multiple costumes yeah it? so and so like and then a sprite is what you move around the screen so if you wanted to move two different things that would be two different sprites but if you yeah. wanted one sprite to have different looks like sometimes I think I've seen people have multiple costumes on a sprite and they they, they switch between them and they animate them to make them look like they're walking yeah, or things so like that like, that's a really good way to make your character look like they're walking. Yeah, kind of makes them come alive a little bit. Yeah, definitely. And um, can you show us how to switch between? Maybe show us how to switch between costumes. Maybe costumes. Yeah. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the wizard to turn into something. So I'm gonna press fantasy, mm -hmm. and I can make the wizard turn into like. A knight okay. or something like Let's that. Should that. I make him turn yeah. into a knight? Yeah, that's kind of fun. Okay. So now he turns into a knight, and he's going to help save the princess. Okay. So um, I'm going to actually select this knight so mm -hmm. I can move him down so he'd be touching the ground. Oh, so the wizard, the wizard as soon as you swap flying, him. Yep. But as soon as you swap him, this, wi this knight turns down. And it turns into the wizard turns into a knight. Okay. And then now the knight is on the ground. So um, I'm gonna go into the scripts okay. and I'm going to hit events and make this turn into and make this knight go from the go wizard. from the wizard to the knight like to the that. wizard okay. to the knight okay. so back similar what you did with the background the same thing that it, basically the same thing okay. so you go into looks and then you hit switch you go to switch costume too and i'm going to grab so two of switch costume so is can, just like what you did with switch yeah background okay and now i'm going to grab a forever loop so i can mm -hmm. have this keep on switching and then i'm going to go wait one second and then wait one second. So okay. I'm gonna switch costume to wizard. And then I'm gonna drag this up here and then drag this down here. Okay, let's see how so that goes. Now the wizard is going to turn into a knight and then he's gonna turn back into a wizard. Okay. Every so, second. Um yeah, every second. And it should be switching as the as the backdrops are switching. These there are Oh, I don't think I think oh, you erased the backdrop one. But let's let's no, see wait, let's no. see this one first I, though. I just have to change this. Yeah, let's just see this one first. So actually I'm just gonna drag this away so this doesn't happen. So we can just see this. And then I'll have both switching to show you what happens then. Okay. So look. Now he turns into a wizard, ah, then a knight. Like wizard, that. then a knight. Okay. So um so that's how that works. Yep. So if I have it happening both at the same time, mm -hmm. then 
they'll be switching actually at the same time. Let's see that. Because they're both, both waiting one second. one second. Okay. So the knight will be on the ground and the wizard will be in the desert. Let's see it. And then I'll... And I think we're probably yeah. wrap it up, right? Oh, it should be <laughs> It did the opposite. But that's okay. But you know... So, so, okay. so I think we showed how to switch back backdrops and how to switch uh, costumes on a sprite. Yeah. And we said we, you could have multiple sprites and they could do multiple things. You but. could have more than just two. Right. Like so I could make it switch between three yeah. instead of just two. So um, want to wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, well, that's a great episode. And, and we want to thank Leslie again for asking uh, such a great question, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, yeah, it was Leslie. Yes. So, um. So I guess that's it, right? Until okay. next time. Yeah. It's another episode of Coding with Dad. And was... I want to definitely see what you can do with this. So, um... Please post uh, comments or or if, if you have your own um, interesting uh, animations with this uh, technique, we'd love to see it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. definitely. Oh. All right. Until next time, it's Coding with Dad. Bye.